before watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like to support me and watch the next video at the Jinshan temple a white clothed woman and a blue clothed woman were using sword techniques to control the seawater the seawater now formed a giant wave that was formed and moved to cover a temple a monk at this time released his cassock the cassock turned into a giant shield and at the same time many yellow scriptures appeared on it to block the fierce tsunami the monk recited a spell and suddenly all the tsunamis were destroyed, and the two women were also thrown back by the palm technique. He summoned a demon-shattering tower, and with just a sound of the demon-shattering tower closing, a stream of spiritual power was created to suck the two women inside. The white-clothed woman threw out a jade hairpin to resist the attraction of the demon-shattering tower. Unable to withstand the attraction, the jade hairpin broke, and she was also sucked in. She continuously called out to her husband. At this time, her husband begged his master to spare her. She told Tan Zhe that everything was due to if I go out, don't blame your husband. That Fap Hai won't argue with you, take care of my child for me. She handed her child over to the green snake and was swept into the tower alone. Fap Hai took her disciple to the green snake, she handed the child over to the white snake's husband and then took her. Sword and rushed to attack Fap Hai to report to the white snake but before she could touch Fap Hai. She had already gone fap high through a palm of vermilion fire that knocked her down the cliff while leaving. The resentment in the green snake's heart evoked a tornado of another world that swept her inside at this moment. Tan Zhe woke up and found herself in a completely strange place around her was a deserted, gloomy road in the city. The fog here was hazy just as she was about to touch the wind chime. The sound of a car horn made her startled and retreat she discovered that she had lost all her magic power in the distance. The buffalo head slowly rushed forward and used a mace to attack her she rushed to attack him. But he was not moved grab the snake's neck and throw her heart into a nearby car knowing she couldn't fight back. She quickly ran away but the black buffalo also chased her and wouldn't let her go he threw air conditioners to stop her, but the snake with its agile body easily dodged while running. She met a street girl, she held a gun and pointed it straight at the white snake but when she fired, the girl shot back at the buffalo head. But he was unharmed and threw the bike to attack the two beauties the snake quickly pulled the girl to dodge then the two continued to run away together. While running the girl used the gun to attack and stop the buffalo head the two girls jumped into a car and escaped the street girl introduced herself as Tun. Please call me Tun Tai Tun Tai said this was Tula Tan. She told the snake to go inside the house and the buffalo head and horse face were probably still nearby Tun Tai said this was the place of the octopus where we were refugee. Sister asked her from which dynasty Tan Zhe told me from the Song Dynasty. Sister said I was from 1000 years after the Song Dynasty. Sister Tun said people from every dynasty came to this place. Here people have love, I have just been here for two months. At that time I was climbing a mountain two meters from the top and fell down when I woke up I was already here back in the room. Sister tossed her a can of seven in the face. Seeing the gas spray out she seemed panicked. Sister Tun said to get some books to read she will know how the Song Dynasty will change 1000 years later. Suddenly jumping 1000 years might make her unfamiliar sister Tun opened the laptop to show her the knowledge of 1000 years later, taught her how to shoot. Taught her martial arts and then taught her how to drive a motorbike like that day and night she learned knowledge and practiced gradually Tan Zhe also got used to life live in the present sitting in. A seven-sided can watching the sunset. I saw the castle moving, Tun Tai went in and out and told her that this Tula city is a living castle, no one knows what it is. Tan Zhe said that I have to get out of here at all costs at this time. The whole buffalo gang came on dozens of motorbikes to attack everyone's residence the two quickly ran back to collect their belongings, running out. I saw the buffalo gang attacking inside a giant octopus crawled up from the ground and took two iron bars to block the door. But it didn't take long for the buffalo gang to rush in the whole buffalo gang rushed in and killed the octopus and everyone in the house the two girls were hiding in a corner watching. Tuntai said that they couldn't go downstairs and went up to the top floor at this time. The leader of the buffalo gang had also arrived the buffalo gang was now colliding with another gang. The leader of the other gang was Tu Ma Quan Nian he said that every second they fell into this castle. Minutes are on the border of life and death. We have not lived until today is not easy the buffalo head said that one mountain cannot contain two tigers. The general said that two tigers fighting will have one injured and that tiger is not necessarily me taking advantage of the moment when the two gangs and touched Tan Zhe and Tun Tai jumped on two motorbikes to run away. But the buffalo oil gang also discovered and chased the two people while chasing the buffalo head guy. They threw their clubs to attack the two people both of them fell down in front of the two gangs of gangsters Tun Tai was hit by a club by the buffalo head guy. Causing her soul to fly away Tan Zhe was now furious and rushed in, holding a stick to hit the buffalo head guy repeatedly. 
but she was quickly subdued by him she tried her best to point the gun and pull the trigger. Only to see the buffalo-headed man then return to dust the other three men were about to attack her when the Sima Guan Ren killed one of them at this time. Both factions were preparing to clash when a strange phenomenon appeared in the sky a tornado filled the sky. Herds of white reindeer flew over the clouds the two factions were scared and immediately ordered their members to retreat all obstacles on the road were swept away by the tornado the green snake also. Hurriedly ran away. She met the Sima Guan Ren, he reached out and pulled the white snake onto the car to escape the ghost storm returning to the faction at this time. Everyone said that ghost storms were getting more frequent before they appeared once a month. Now they appeared every three days the Sima Guan Ren said that ghost storms were appearing more often but the important thing now was supplies when the storm cleared. I would go to the Van Gee supermarket, she would go with Mimi a female in the gang said that as long as she got the supplies from the Rikshasa sect, there would be a place for her the next morning. She and Sima Guanren set out for the Wanyi supermarket, danger was always lurking on the road, and their lives were in danger at any moment the two were walking when two giants jumped out to attack. And in front of them was a pack of demon wolves Sima Guanren threw out a box of food for them to fight over, taking the opportunity to run away but not long after. A group of monsters on a motorcycle chased after them a long-necked Indian jumped onto the bike to attack, Sima Guanren braked hard, causing him to fly out when they reached a bridge. Sima Guanren stopped the bike, and only saw the group leave it turned out that from here, they entered the Wanyi supermarket area. A neutral land where everyone had set a rule of not invading each other entering the Wanyi supermarket. She met the young man who had saved her and her elder sister in the past, she asked the female fox demon what kind of place is Asura city. Why did I come here the fox demon said that in this world. The most painful and resentful thing is nothing more than not getting what you want Asura City was born from the resentment of the air balloons that were not received by the living beings in this world you did not enter the cycle of reincarnation but transmigrated to this city because in your hearts you have strong obsessions the fox demon led everyone to the void. She said that as long as they jumped into the void, they would leave Asura City but in reality, no one jumped without hesitation, because in the lake they saw their tormenting obsessions at this time. The mysterious young man came out, he said why can't I see my obsessions the fox demon said that you can't see clearly, of course because you don't remember clearly the green snake stepped forward. She saw the image of her white snake sister she was in pain because of those obsessions the fox demon said that as long as she jumped into the lake, she would forget everything. Forget all the people in her obsessions, all would be gone pain finally. The snake was not brave enough to jump into the lake the two people loaded the car and prepared to leave when a ghost fire eagle swooped down and everyone panicked and ran inside everything it passed. Through was burned the demon said that all these calamities were like breathing and melting. That was because the Asura city was breathing in and out at this time, the demons had attacked inside, she was chased by one of them but fortunately. She finally escaped with the support of everyone everyone followed the elevator down to the underground one of the people following was bitten and was turning into a demon it attacked one of the group. And then turned to everyone the demon broke the elevator control lever and fell freely down. The demon was crushed by a piece of wood. Everyone took the opportunity to run away the demon began to search for everyone when the snake was almost discovered. The young man blew the whistle to attract attention and drew the demon towards him the young man and the scholar were chased by the demon. The scholar pushed the young man back to stop the demon so he could escape but in the end he also received a tragic end the green snake jumped in with a knife to stab the demon but was thrown away at. This time. Two Ma cut off the demon's head with one slash. Only by cutting off the head could they be killed everyone went to the car to check the goods but everything had been burned the three people now went back to the Rikshasa gate the Rikshasa gate is currently surrounded and killed by the buffalo head gang the entire territory of the Rikshasa gate is engulfed in flames the buffalo head leader came to ask where a female officer from Two Ma Kwan Nyan was but when he did not receive an answer. He immediately killed her the buffalo head gang had completely destroyed the Rikshasa gate and occupied the territory the three people now ran to the sewer but were also chased by the ghosts the young man was accidentally crushed by the car. The green snake was about to turn back to save him but the buffalo head gang told him that he was a burden and should leave the green snake she didn't hear her turn back to save the young man. But while she was saving him she heard a strange noise. It turned out that the officer had locked the door from the inside and left. He said that now she was a burden. At this time, the demon spirit also chased after her, but she had lost all faith like a lost soul the young man took off his veil. It turned out that he was the elder sister of the white snake the water had already drowned the white snake. Xiao Qing quickly destroyed the spirit and hurriedly jumped down to save the white snake she saved the white snake and then went up the stairs. Xiao Qing asked her elder sister why she wasn't locked up by the demon tower. 
And why she had the form of a man the white snake said I only remember that I was crossing the street and was hit by a car, my body flew into the air, time seemed to stop. Why did it happen then I fell down, everywhere was fire and I came here with this enemy's bone in my hand Xiao Qing leaned her head on Xiao Bai's shoulder and slept. Enjoying the peaceful moments the two of them then boarded a boat to meet the fox spirit the two asked her if she wanted to leave Asura city the fox spirit said I am a merchant. As long as both of you pay for what I want, I will tell you two know how to leave here she said before the two of you arrived, someone also lost consciousness and fell into a dead end. Wanting to make a deal with me to leave here, it turned out to be Sima Guanren he said I agreed to the deal after speaking. The fox demon signaled his subordinates to send Sima flying on the lake surface she said there was another way to leave, which was the if bridge, although it was difficult but it had a good point. People could bring the memories of this life out of Asura city. The fourth horse chose this way Sima's obsession was absorbed into a jar by the bee demon. Then he was brought to shore losing his obsession with winning. Now he would just be a weak little monster now came the two white snakes the fox demon said Asura city was a snake shaped city with a head and a tail, the head and tail were almost connected. The strange thing was that the snake's tail was where the demon spirit resided, the even more strange thing was that the snake's tail would sometimes grow a connecting bridge called the if bridge. If you jumped from the if bridge to the snake's head then can get out of Asura city at this time the fox demon's subordinates came in to report that the bullhead gang had attacked the Wanyi supermarket. The two people's process was also interrupted the fox demon ordered his subordinates to pull the iron lock to stop it. The bull gang's fleet was blocked the fox demon's subordinates began to use their skills to attack the bull gang's boat the bull gang sent a scissors shaped boat to cut the iron lock everyone used. Guns to shoot but the bull gang who was controlling this scissors boat even so. The chain lock was still cut off in the end the bull gang rushed and everyone returned to the void. The demon official had also woken up at this time the bull king had also entered the void see Ma held the pig spear to fight and told Xiao Qing to apologize to her for what happened before. Saying goodbye here Si Ma began to rush forward to fight the bull king one person was agile, the other then the power is unparalleled with overwhelming power, the bull king sent the horse flying back. The horse continued to charge, but with just one strike, the bull king broke the pig spear of the horse also took the opportunity to stab the bull king in the neck. But the bull king's armor was too thick to penetrate the horse was led by the bull king and kicked to the floor, he said today is the end of you, the horse he finished off the horse with a neck snap. The horse's soul was now flying away the green snake angrily rushed to attack, when he saw the green snake in danger. The white snake rushed in but he was accidentally knocked off the human skin mask by the bull king's subordinate Kau panicked and put his hat on to cover his face at this time. The bull king held the strange mask and said no matter where you are, I know it like the back of my hand, this time you have made a great achievement, it was not in vain that day. I gave you this strange mask to save your life, it turns out that little white is a spy of the ox gang the green snake said you are not Xiao Bai. Then who are you in the end the young man put a strange mask on his head, emitting an extremely terrifying fire the young man transformed back into his human form the ox king was extremely angry. Why didn't he transform back into his ox head to become the guardian of the sect the fox demon and his subordinates left and gave Xiao Bai a sentence, the moment of tribulation. The moment of commitment at this time. The boiling tide of the lake turned into a giant arm and grabbed everyone everyone panicked and ran away under the pursuit of Wu Kai the ox king was also swallowed by the waves in the lake. The silhouettes of the giant fox demon and his subordinates appeared when Xiao Qing was about to be swallowed by the waves, the young man pulled her onto the boat, but in her anger. She continued to beat him the fox demon then surfaced to look at the two people. She laughed once and then dived away the two people were now washed ashore she asked him who he was in the end you said when I first came to Asura city, I lost all my memories and had no face. It was the ox king who saved me and he gave me my life. But the day I saw you, I don't know why I saw Xiao Bai's face in Wu Kai. When I was in the tunnel, I thought that if I transformed into Xiao Bai's face, you would listen to my advice. The bull king at this time with his powerful armor also escaped the disaster. But all his subordinates were not as lucky as him the green snake told the young fox demon to tell her that there was a black wind cave in Asura city. As long as she could endure all the training in there, a bridge would grow from the snake's tail a strange bus came. Both of them used the card the fox demon gave them to get on the bus to the black wind cave she entered the black wind cave, in here she faced all the obsessions of facing the sea of law. But she did not give up her desire to go through all the training to become stronger, to be able to leave Asura city by herself outside, the bull king was also chasing. All the monsters blocking his way were also destroyed by him Tiu Tan walked out of the black wind cave. At this time the snake's tail had also grown a bridge that connected to the snake's head the two of them climbed onto the bridge, but there were also many hidden dangers lurking here at this time. 
The bull demon king and the ghosts also chased after them here the two ran forward desperately. Hoping to reach the snake's head the ghosts had also chased after them and started attacking the two the bull king on the other side was also entangled by the ghosts and was struggling to escape being bitten. He began to show signs of being turned into a ghost the bull king rafted tree trunks to block the young man's retreat seeing the young man in danger. Xiao Qing immediately jumped over to rescue him the two were cornered by the ghosts. The young man grabbed Xiao Qing's hand and jumped down to grab a demon spirit. Using his support and Xiao Qing to jump to the side passage to escape the bull king had also completely turned into a ghost the two young men and the young man jumped up through the space membrane to enter the snake's head but suddenly both of them were stopped. Because at this time the young man had been grabbed by the leg by the bull king both of them were pulled down by the bull king Xiao Qing threw an iron bar at the bull king. But he was still crazy clinging to the young man madly the young man looked at Xiao Qing with a gaze full of affection. He relaxed his body to let the bull king bite him then took the opportunity to grab the iron bar and poke it straight into the bull king's head Xiao Qing grabbed him but when he recovered the young man was gradually transformed into a ghost she asked him why he let him bite him. But he just kept silent and looked at her the two hugged each other and fell down but at this time the demonized young man had grown a pair of wings. While he was still conscious he flew up to bring Xiao Qing to the snake's head his body gradually disappeared. He tried his best to throw Xiao Qing onto the snake's head he pushed her to the other side. But Xiao Qing kept grabbing his hand in a reluctant manner he told Xiao Qing to apologize. In the end I still couldn't leave Asura city with you his body gradually disappeared into nothingness Xiao Qing had now left Asura city and returned to the mortal world. No one knew where she was where in the world is the Asura city? There is also the fallen demon tower. I wonder where the elder sister is now at this time. She saw a tower. She asked the old man playing the flute next to it, is this the demon tower? The old man said yes it turned out that the demon tower did not collapse but the old man said that this tower was built a few years ago, where did she come from? Everyone knows this the old tower had collapsed a long time ago, if it suppressed the white snake, she would have escaped and reincarnated several times. She might have cultivated into a human form somewhere in the world he told her to go to the exhibition below and see. That year when the tower collapsed, many treasures were found below in here. She saw a bone hairpin that looked like the bone of the white snake she took the bone hairpin out, she took a piece of bone and put it in the bone hairpin. And it turned into a complete jade hairpin it turned out that the young man in the Asura city was still his elder sister. That bone movement is his obsession and also the missing piece of the bone hairpin escaped from the demon tower, she went to Asura city from within the bone hairpin, a golden sphere of light flew up. Xiao Qing saw in it Xiao Bai's reincarnations, from when he was young to when he grew up and then met with an accident and fell into Asura city in the end, Xiao Qing could not let go of her obsession. She always hoped that somewhere in the end, she would once again meet Xiao Bai.